Welcome back. Won't you join me on this Cuckoo River? Well, it's Friday again. I believe it's the 12th. I can't believe it. I came down here with no bait. The only thing I have is a fake one inch minnow gull. Doesn't look like I'm gonna stay here long. At the river, I like to catch my bait with live worms, but I have nothing. Okay. Even without worms, I was able to catch this beauty. No, he's not going to be used for bait. Gotta let him go. Gotta let him grow. Yeah, I'm fishing for them. I'm sure there's a lot smaller ones. Well, here I go back looking for uh, sunfish. I'm gonna go back to the brush pile. See if I can catch uh, three or four small ones. Don't forget, you see me drinking water. When you're out there and the temperature is 90 degrees, keep hydrated. I'm just about there. Well, let me uh, drop the rod down, drop the uh, minnow down, and see what I could catch. That one's all tore up. Let me go and put another one inch minnow gulp. These things will catch anything. I've got a video in Marsh Creek that I caught a muskie, six pound test line, nice size muskie with a one inch minnow gulp. Obviously I wasn't fishing for muskies with six pound line. I was fishing for perch. Well, if you see the uh, video, you'll see, or if you look for the video, you'll see what happened. One inch minnow gulp. Fishing around brush pile. A sunfish. If this is a sunfish, it's a record, uh, record breaking sun sunfish. You always check the drag. You know what it is. It's got to be a channel catfish. Oh, got to get them away from these trees, that's for sure. Okay. Whoa. Well, I tell you, they love that surge. They love to make, do that surge. They know they've been getting away with it for a while. They do the surge and it breaks the guy's line. Ultra light line. Okay, that's six pound. Oh, uh, these fifteen dollar reels. They were made for sunfish, not for these guys. And 
here comes a boat, of course. I've seen them with the chin of catfish. You can never have enough boats when you're fishing. <laughs> This is an awful reel. I think I paid fifteen dollars for it, but it's all right. It's gonna do the job. There you are. <laughs> he didn't like that a bit. Took a look at me and got scared. He's about 24 incher. I'm just checking to see, make sure I'm away from trees. It's pushing me towards the bank. tiny little hook that I use for sunfish one man I'll go can I get him can I get him now Whoa. <laughs> No, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Where am I? So many things to watch out for. Okay. I think this park is closed. The park's not open, is it girls? No, it's not Monday. I'm bringing, I got a fishy on my rod. Right, I'm bringing him to the boat ramp. The current's pretty fast. I guess it must have rained overnight. Looks like I got hit by a propeller. Oh my God. Yeah, on a small rod. <laughs> oh. Okay, he's safe and sound. <laughs> Come on. Of course, it has to be the rod in the back that I can't see. Cut bait. Put this guy over here. Is he still on?
Jag is good. What do we got? 12, 12 pound liter. That's not bad for a kayak. It's a small flatty on a cut bait. Okay, we're done for the day anyway. Let's see how he holds on this. Okay. I'll give her these rods. Getting rid of the rods in the back. Like I said, I gotta stay on this side because I got my anchor on the other side. Come on, Mr. K uh, Flathead. Nah, he's, a, he's a baby. Come on, come here. I give up. There goes the rod in the water. This is why we have to open up the door. Yep. Got to cut the line. He swallowed it too much. Okay. Let's let him go. He'll be all right. 